Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and I was requested to make a uh, string tokenizer video and the point of this video is how to if you have a text file that looks something like this and it's uh, each field is separated by a semicolon and we have four uh, fields for each line right here and the first one's going to be last name, the second one's first name, the third one I just made is weight and the fourth one is age and we have a person object I created and it takes in last name first name and age so we want to parse through this uh, text file which um, I just made a few examples but it could be hundreds of people long and we just want to be able to take out the last name and the first name and the age and add them to some type of list and create uh, a person object out of them so how do we do that? Well, first we want to read the file and we can use scanner, but I was requested to use a buffered reader. So I'm going to say buffered, spell that right, buffered reader, and we'll just say uh, B reader for short, equals new buffered reader. And we're going to inside of buffered reader instantiate a file reader. So new file reader. And the parameter for file reader is the file. And notice I created the people.txt file within the same directory. So all I have to do is use uh, in string format, write people.txt. And if it's not um, in your di exact directory you're using, you're going to have to write the absolute path starting at you know C uh, colon slash slash and you know the whole path. And if it's reading in from the command line, you want to, you might want to write something along the lines of uh, like args zero, something like that. Okay, but in this case, we're just going to read in the string, and it's going to say people dot text, and we're going to have to import all of this stuff. So you can do Control Shift O, and if you don't have Eclipse and you're using a uh, basic uh, text editor or something just make sure you write import java.io dot whatever you can just write um, I'll show you a quicker way if you have a bunch of stuff from the IO package you can import everything from the IO package by using that star and it'll take care of everything and this should throw uh, a flag so we need to handle this exception in case that uh, text file doesn't exist I'm just going to throw it to the header and I'm just going to say IO exception and I'll handle any exceptions we have to deal with further. Right, so now what do we got to do? Let's, uh, I'm going to create an array list. Array list and it's going to hold person objects. So in the parameters inside of these uh, angled brackets write person and I'm just going to say people list equals new array list and you're gonna have to specify the type again so person and then uh, open and close parentheses right there with nothing in it and we need to import array list so another way to do it is hover over it and you just hit import okay so now we have to read through this file and add new create pe person objects and add it to this people list so what we want to do first is we want to say um, say while uh, and then inside another one we're going to say while let's create a string called line string line and set it equal to null for now and we're going to use that line to uh, set that line equal to b reader dot next dot read line sorry I'm so used to using scanner alright and what that does is the buffered reader is going to read through this line right here and every time it has a line it's going to keep setting uh, the string line equal to that line it's reading but go after the second um, closing parentheses you're going to want to say while that does not equal null so while the line that is set to the buffered reader reading line 
does not equal null, which means if it as soon as it gets to line six, it's not going to be in that while loop anymore. So let's open up some curly brackets. So now what we want to do is we want to have a string tokenizer. And the way we do that is we need to <clears throat> put this parse this line into an array. So we're going to say string array and let's call it uh, people info equals line dot split and in its parameters we're going to take a string but we're going to use two backslashes and then what do we want to use as the um, delimiter or the uh, tokenizer and in this case we want to use that semicolon because a token is just one uh, you know piece of information so we want this to be a token and we want this to be a token and we want we're not going to use this but we want that to be a token and we want that to be a token and since there's no white space usually uh, white space is the default um, I don't know if it's the default tokenizer but I know for a delimiter it's the default delimiter so you're going to want to write two backslashes and a semicolon and after that just end it with a semicolon. Okay, so now what we have is an array right here. And it's only temporary because as soon as we go through this while loop, the line's going to become a new line and you're going to create a new array. So we need to throw this current array into a person object. And the way we do that is uh, since I don't, since we're not going to be using the index of the array that uh, deals with weight, we could just simply write people info I don't know let's do this let's say string uh, the last name is right in first so we'll set a variable called string last name equals people info and that's in the array index 0 so we're setting that array index 0 to string last name and I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's pretty similar for the next one and we're going to cut we're going to switch this to first name equals people info one and we don't have to deal with uh, the second uh, index because we don't want the weight that was just an extra um, that extra info but we don't need that so let's say int age equals people info and we're going to set that to the third index all right, and that's going to throw an error because this is um, from a string array. So this is a string, and you're trying to cast it to an int. So how do we do that? We need to use a wrapper class called the integer class. So it's going to say integer dot parse int. And notice it takes in a string as its arguments. So what this does is it changes a string into an int. And the best, uh, it's best to use that only if um, if the string is already numbers. If it's letters and stuff, uh, don't don't really try to use that. But so if you have numbers within a string and you want to get them into ints, you use integer dot parse int and pass in the uh, the string of numbers that you want to pass into an int. So now we can create a person object and we can just create the person object and then pass it into the array. But I'll show you a shortcut. Uh, we're gonna say people list dot add and what this does is it adds a new uh, person object into this array list and we're just going to instantiate the person right here so new person and we need to if you look at the person in its parameter or it's in, in its constructor its last name first name and age so we're going to say last name because that's the variable name we set right here I just happen to use the same uh, variable names, but if they're not, you want to pass in the ones that you used in this file. So last name, first name, age. Okay, so now we've added a new person to this person list, um, parsing through it with the string tokenizer. 
And if we come outside of this, just to make sure it works, let's write a for loop, uh, a for a for each loop actually. And we're gonna say for, and we use the type right here. So for person, and we'll just label the variable p, write a colon, and use the list that we are uh, parsing through. So people list, people list. This isn't necessary. This is just to uh, debug our program and make sure that it is actually writing all of this to the person class. So now we want to say um, sys out uh, p. Okay. And I already in p will do the person, the current person's uh, two string, and I have already set the current person's two string right here so you don't have to worry about that but you should write your own person file if you if you need to and just label these fields have a constructor with those fields and you can create the two string however you want all right and now let's run that and notice that it read in from that file and it said last name smith first name michael age 23 so that is how you use a string tokenizer and you can use it for um, multiple things uh, not sure I haven't used string tokenizer much so let me see if this works by itself okay so that works by itself too for some reason I thought you had to use two uh, backslashes uh, in some cases you will but for a semicolon, I guess you don't, it'll come up with the same thing. So you can just write line.split and then a semicolon right there. And, but make sure it's in these, uh, like a string format. So there you go, that's how you use a string tokenizer. Thank you guys for watching.